Okay, question number 11 now. It says that uh, Farah has 250 milliliters of juice in a glass. She takes five seconds to drink some juice, so this is why the time goes from 0 to 5. How many milliliters did Farah drink in the five seconds? Well, it started at 250, didn't it? And then after five seconds, uh, it went down to 100. So if you do 250, take about 100. She so drank 150 milliliters for one mark, okay? Because it's gone down 50, 100, 150. That's how much you drunk. Let's look at the next bit. Okay, so it says, um, same information again, except the question at the bottom has now changed. Farah does not drink any juice for the next two seconds. She then drinks all the remaining juice in three seconds. Show this information on the graph. Well, if she doesn't drink any juice for two seconds, that means two seconds are going to pass, and then the juice liquid is going to stay the same. So it stays at 100 for two seconds. And she drinks all the remaining juice in, it takes one second, two seconds, three seconds to get down there. So that's what it's going to look like. Like that. And that's it. That's your two marks. So quite a nice easy little question, but you had to kind of keep your wits about you and look at the information on the axis in milliliters of juice and across this axis in terms of time.